Hey guys, this is Dark Blue Nutrition. My name is Katie. I am currently a dietetics graduate student and intern. And if you're freaked out about the diecast application, I want to help you be a little less stressed and be a little more prepared for the diecast process and everything. So if you want to reduce your stress and have your best chance at getting a internship, then keep watching. First and foremost, I wanna say I totally feel your pain. So if you're freaking out right now, take a deep breath and you'll be just fine, I promise. So my first tip is to start early. So I know that it's easy to procrastinate and sometimes it takes a long time to get stuff done, but getting stuff done early is gonna be super essential. So you wanna start um, the moment diecast opens and start putting your stuff in there. If you wait too long, some stuff like transcripts and uh, recommendation letters and stuff like that can take a little bit longer. In addition to remembering all your volunteer experience, you're gonna have to, to put things in and edit, put more things in and edit again. So you really wanna start as early as possible or else you're not gonna get it all in and then it may make your application lack. My second tip is talk yourself up. So don't be afraid to talk yourself up. Definitely don't sound arrogant or cocky when you're doing your application, but you wanna talk yourself up, you wanna sell yourself, and that's really important. And if you don't do that, if you can't sell yourself, then uh, you're not going to be uh, one of the chosen ones of uh, the internship because there's only a 50% match rate. And so I'm sure you know that already if you're applying, but you really just want to make sure that you're selling your qualities, sell your high qualities. Just start thinking about what um, makes you unique and what makes you special and what things you're strong at. In addition to your weaknesses, so you wanna be able to recognize your weaknesses and be able to tell them how you're working on them. Next tip is to not wait on your transcript. Not wait till the last second on those transcripts because sometimes they take two to three weeks to process even if you get them in. Um, it's not going to be an instant thing and you want to get it done before everyone else. If the application stuff is due in January, how many people do you think are going to be requesting their transcripts for not only dietetic internships but also for grad school and other stuff like that. So admissions office is going to be really, really busy. And so you're really going to want to do this ahead of time. So you're not one of the ones that's waiting on transcripts. And if your transcripts go, don't go in, then uh, you might risk not having them in on time for your diecast application, which looks very bad. And I'm not quite sure if they can really um, accept your application if your stuff is not in. So my next tip is to edit, edit, edit. You cannot edit enough. Well, Technically, you can edit enough. Um, you don't want to go like to the point where you're just stressing yourself out so much and just looking at it every second of every day, but you can um, really look it over again and again and have people that are unbiased and that are going to are that are willing to give you constructive criticism. You're going to want them to be the ones looking at your application and telling you, eh, "This sounds." not so good or I would word this differently or something like that because it, trust me you're gonna want the critics in the editing process because you want your application to be as good as possible. Next tip is to visit internship sites. So I had about uh, five internships that I really wanted to go to. I ended up only applying for four and I thought I knew my rankings exactly. I decided last minute to finally visit uh, my top two, I really had a change of heart. I have a lot of intuition. I really felt that I wasn't, um, I didn't rank the way that I, that I wanted to rank. So I ended up switching last minute. So this change of heart like made me realize that it's really important to visit sites so you can figure this out, so you can get the vibes and really see if it's right for you. I know that sounds kind of weird, but like vibes mean a lot to me and I know a lot of people think the same way and get to know the place because you want to know if it works for you and you want to change your rankings accordingly. And this leads me to one of my last tips. So I would say one of the biggest tips is to rank strategically. So these places are looking for applicants that are um, a good fit for them. They want people and students that are really going to be a good fit. So 
you really want to match yourself with internship sites that are going to be fitting for you. You want to look at their requirements, look at what they like, and then look at what you like. Reflect on yourself and see, does that, does this mesh with me and what I want? And if it doesn't, you might want to reconsider and just be really good about ranking in the way that fits your style. Don't rank because you want to go to Colorado, because you want to go to California. You're only going to be in the internship a short time and you're going to want to be in the place that's the best fit for you, not be there because you want to be in that location. You can always move. So just keep this in mind and don't go to a place just because you like the location. The last and final kind of small tip is to just be yourself. I know they focus a lot on perfection and being the perfect student, perfect GPA, perfect volunteer experience, perfect everything, but you're not perfect and none of the applicants are. So just keep this in mind and sell yourself, be honest, don't lie, and just be forthright about all your strengths and all your weaknesses. And let them know that you really want this and why. Don't just say that you're passionate about the field of dietetics. Tell them why and make them uh, make yourself like irresistible to them and make them want to accept you. And honestly, they're looking for uniqueness, not perfection. So be yourself, be authentic, and you can totally rock this. I really believe in you and I know that you can do this. So I hope these tips really helped you. Leave any more tips in the comments below and tell me either how you um, how you're doing with the application process. Tell me your tips um, and other tips that maybe I didn't mention uh, that you came across that are good for applying. And if you have any questions, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. I've been through the process, I totally get it. And um, you're gonna do great, so please don't stress. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, this is Dark Blue Nutrition. My name's Katie, and I'll see you all later. Also, let me know if you have any other suggestions for future video ideas. I love nutrition. I love uh, talking about dietetics as subject, too, because I know that's a really stressful topic, the internship. Uh, tell me uh, in the comments below. Thank you.